Hi, in this video of CSS3, we are going to discuss about the text. As we have already covered the text while working with the previous edition of CSS in the same video series, but here we are going to cover some new features which were provided by CSS3. So here we'll see like if we are putting some text inside a box and it is an overloaded text, how to manage that. Maybe I would like to wrap it out and maybe if it's still more, I can make it clipped or maybe I want to end it in the ellipse and whenever I'll put a mouse over it, I can see the complete text. So let's see practically what all new options are available here while working with CSS3 regarding the text. So let's see what is all there new in the text features in CSS3. So basically we have seen already like when we are creating the boxes using the borders, margins and everything. Uh, if there is a text which is not coming inside that particular border and if we have mentioned something like minimum height, minimum width. So that particular text will be shown but outside the box as well. So here we are going to give the treatment like what should we do in case the text is much more than the size which is available inside the borders. So in case of overflow like here you can see rest are the same things like white space no wrap means I'm not wrapping the text right here all right it will be like a straight line. So what should I do in width if the text is not com coming in the 200 pixel width. So in case of overflow we will hide the overflown text all right and what will I do either we will show the clip means we will just uh, break the text after that or we will show dotted like the ellipses. So let's see what is all there in the body. So here I have a couple of things like two paragraph tags with the class text one and text two. The first one is the normal one but here we are using the different classes which we have already defined. So first one is using the clip while second one is using the ellipses. So in the browser if I will refresh you can see that this is the original text which is coming as normally it comes but this one is being clipped like only that particular text is shown which is which can be contained by this particular box like in width 200 pixel while I'm clipping this one also but at the end I'm it's not a simple clip I'm using the ellipses like the three dots out here all right so this is the ellipses concept now you can also go for the word wrapping out here which will be a better choice and if you have a big text so you can see like we have not mentioned anything like no wrap but it will wrap the text the width is 140 pixel or you can increase or decrease as per your convenience but here when we are specifying the word break there are two different options keep all and break all what this keep all will do it will not break a word like if you have a bigger word only after that it will break into the next line but break all will just consider the width once the width is done even if the word is not completed it will break the remaining in the next line so if I refresh it you can see like here the content is not being uh, hidden but you see this is the normal one like tutorials point originated from the idea all right but here you can see tutorials point origin aided from the idea that that means th there and t there that is break all all right and this is keep all so obviously we will prefer to go for the keep all but yes if it is required if you are working on some responsive web applications you can if as per your convenience go for the break all options as well now let's see how we can get rid of the overflown hidden text along with some styles all right so basically in this particular example what am i doing is still i'm making the overflown text as hidden but i will also make it visible all right the way i'm going to hide that particular overflown text is different that i'm specifying in line also like first one is for the ellipses second one is the clip previous example I just passed everything out here only but now as soon as you will put the mouse over the div I want that particular text should be visible and what I have I done for that here I am using overflow option with visible initially by default it is hidden but now it is visible so let's save it 
let's come to the browser and refresh so here you can see by default the text is not visible but when i will put the mouse over it i can see the complete text in both the situations all right so using such things or using some more colors some more effects out there you can make your page and information more interactive so these are all the new features which you can perform while working with text in css3